see what you're doing if you're laughing at the Rabbani Shalad. I guess that's Paris telling us to stop the Muslim. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, I think they quote uh, one of the mice in the Rabbi David Feinstein book or articles they said about him that somebody said, Well, you're spending so much time with these people who are not so, you know, you know, the Lower East Side people, you know, sometimes you have who knows what came into MTJ. And I think I think there is Rav David. Rav David said, you know what? What Hashem didn't make them. If Hashem made them, then then obviously well, He made them for a reason. Who am I to yeah, say? Is that, that a way to talk about Baruch Stein? <laughs> Listen, he has the, the. But if you say a Stein, you could talk like a, to a Stein or like that. I don't about a Stein like that. I don't know about Baruch Stein, but Steins, yeah. Anyways, okay. So now that's. Uh, Fine. Oh, so now we have a very gishmak adaf here in Alamad Alf. It's a quick daf, so don't really get, get nervous about the Shabbos time. Yeah. So um, we said yesterday that this, there were there were four cases in the Mishnah where the guy were on Pevam and Base, where the guy could get mixed up. He could get mixed up with with who what first the first cases he got mixed up who he's making the nether for. Right, meaning he was he thought his wife, so he's being matter his wife, and he's really being matter his daughter, or the opposite. The next three cases is that he was being matter nedarim that he didn't know about, meaning he thought it was grapes and it was really uh, was really figs or figs. They, you know, all of those examples. There is an interesting shaila, and of course, I have no recollection what we passed him. Because what happens if he has two wives, and he thought one wife, and he thought one wife made the nether, and really was another wife. So he had in what? mind. He had in mind he's being made for the nether of a wife. He just got the wrong wife. Why? Why would that be allowed? If we're after what we're just learning, you have to have the right person in mind. No, but but he had he had a wife. He did, see, but he didn't have the right person. I understand, but he didn't have the right person. He didn't have the right person in mind. Why would it be good? So now the question is: Is that the pshat that it needs to be a din in the person, or is it a din in a spouse versus a versus a child? It has to be. It has to be the No. Maybe you want to say that. What? However, what however, yeah. What do you say? Chefz gavra. It's not chefz gavra because it's not a chefz. It's two wives. It's ishtay kigufay. That's what he means. Ishtay. So she's a chefz. So I'm a male. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, so that that was the style. Of course, I have no recollection what we say with that. But uh, anyways, so those are the cases. So the Gemara says. Be a mekkah choice. Mekkah toys. Is that it's a dinner net? He's not making it on the right person. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Right. No, that's the shyla. Is it a dinner in the person? Or if that's okay, that's what David's saying. So then it shouldn't work. Right? And if but if it's a din in a, in a spouse, so he he was matter a spouse is nether. He has the kayak to be matter a spouse. He did be ma- he was matter a spouse, now it just matter which spouse. Right. Well, that spouse that he mounted, her net is no good. Good. Okay, so. That was a cool question. Right, but she didn't make the net. The other oh, one. That's too bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Whatever. So, Zog thing tomorrow, Frank thing tomorrow. Right, the bottom line, pay on me. So, remember the Yoni I saw, which the Pusik says, Haini Avia I saw, right? When it says that he he could stop her from making the net, Dafka, who must be that it has to be Dafka. Right, meaning he has to know exactly who he's being matter the nether for. So Anton Bid Aleph, right? Unfortunately, it was uh Niona the Yamat here. Right, but when you tear Kriya, when somebody has to tear Kriya, when he hears when he hears a bad basura, right? Um, so um meaning let's say he heard the way Rashi says it, the way the Mafarish says it, is that he heard. He got he that he lost a um a couple of krivim or three krivim, right? So he's got to be he's got to tear kriya on each and every one. So does that have to be? Does he have to know which kriya goes on which relative? Right. Tichsev. Well, how do you know this? How do you know you have to have? Um, you need to tear kriya bechlal. Yeah. That you have to tear multiple kriyas, meaning not one kriya for all. 
right? You have to tear multiple kriyas. The chsiv, it says al al, right? And the chsiv in the pasuk by shol by yoynes and benoi, right? Another uh, one of David's uh, mitzoros was that he lost. He found out from I think it was from an uh, was it from an Amaleki kid told him I don't remember who told him that came to tell him that shol and yoynes both died, right? So he says he it's a pasuk says with the pasuk. And they made a hesped of a yivchu by yitzuma and erev al shol by yonis and benoi by al am Hashem by al beis yisrael. So it says the word al. It actually says it there a few times. It says it four times. But but it says on shol on yonis. And so what's the al al that he had to tear twice? What? Right? Once for each yeah. one. One. Yeah. Shol he had to tear because he's the melech. Why did he have to tear on yonis? Yonis was a good chava, but he didn't have. He didn't have no chiyuv to tear on Yonison. Surely he had a chiyuv. Then what kind of chiyuv he had on Yonison? No, because Yonison was, uh, what's it called? What? He's the son of a Melech, so. No, but his, he was the Reish of the Sanhedrin. Yeah. I think that, I don't know, I think that qualifies, that's why I understood it, that oh. that qualifies well, okay, him so, as a, I think, I think that the now, you know what we had this issue, right? Because you're supposed to what you're supposed to tear on the seven relatives, plus who else? Uh, a king, tier, I mean, a king, and a nasi, and a, yeah, and the Rosh Sanhedrin. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, the Rosh Sanhedrin. Okay, that was the big tumult. People wanted to know whether they should tear Kriya by Reb Chaim. Right? People wanted should they tear by Reb Chaim? Is he considered an? Is he not? Do we have that nowadays? Right? Either way, so he tore twice. Right, once for each. The Tanya Amru Loy Mace of it. Now we have a price of a guy. Somebody came and said, Your father died. The Korah, and he taught Kriya on his father. And then he found out that it was his son. Right? The Yatsi Yadei, Yatsi Yadei Kriya. He was Yatsi's Kriya, and he doesn't have to tear anymore. Right? So what do you see? That it does not have to be. It's something that beats him needs to be done, each one needs their own Kriya, but it doesn't have to be specific. Right? So we're going to say that the same thing by Nadarim, that it doesn't have to be specific. Right? So it's a stira. Is it? Does it have to be specific? Does it not have to be specific? So Amri said, like Kasha, it's not a Kasha. Hob is Tam, Hob Mafarish. So this is a very interesting. There's a Machloik as we shine him her. How to understand Havastam, Havim Farah. So, Bistam, if they told him that they said, you know, a close relative of yours died, they didn't tell him what, who. What's the connection from Nadarim to, to Kriya? I mean, why? Why, why are they, they comparable? Why is the driver the same? You mean, why should you? Um... So, so by, by Kriya, it has to be, is one thing, but that means that, that it's the same thing by another, by being made for another? Um, Yeah, for some reason, for some reason, it's when you're going to learn out that the psukim are lab dafka. Right? Okay. That's what it seems. I, 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 the, yeah, so, uh, so it seems like he's saying lab, the way the Ran says it, alma al, al, al is lab dafka. Hachanami lema oisa is lab dafka. Right? Meaning the word al. Al David Bal Yonis, and we're saying is Lav Dafka. So Mamela, the word I saw is also Lav Dafka. And, <laughs> and Lav Dafka, would I compare the two if it was up to me? But Baruch Hashem, it's not up to me. <laughs> but I hear what you're saying, like rationally, was Kriya, everything has, we know in Halacha, everything has. I mean, it's not the same, it's not like it's the same word where we're learning Xerah Shava that it's the same word. It's Al and O and, and I saw. The, well, yeah. That's not the same word. It doesn't sound the same to me. Correct. Um, yeah, um, yeah, and Hanami, so that's what that's what we're learning. That basically, we're saying the Torah is locked up, right? That's what it's saying, that's what it seems. So, anyway, so I'm like, I hope it's time home and right? Um, so what does that mean? Meaning, oh, so the posh understanding is if they told him, Stam. A relative of yours died. We don't know yet who. Right? We don't know yet who it is. 
So then he taught Kriya, says, okay, it must be, it must be the father, right? Then he taught, and then he finds out that it's not the father, it's the son. So then it works, right? But if they told him Beferish, that it's, you know, it's the mother that made the nether, and then he finds out it's the daughter, or the opposite, then that doesn't work. So basically, we're going we're gonna to compare both of them and say, like, if it was done specific, then it's not, the Kriya is not going to work and the nether is not going to work. But if it was done stam, they told him, hey, somebody in your house made a nether. So he says, okay, it's, I'm knocking it out. So then it, then it would work. Then a taka would work. Right? That, so that's what we say, Vatanya. This Vatanya here doesn't mean Akasha. Oh, so some, some Rishonim learn it's the opposite. Right? By stam, <laughs> by stam, it doesn't work. But Mefarish, it, Mefarish, it would work. But that's already much harder to understand. Yeah, fine. Well, Tanya, we learned the rice like that. Amrulai mace of it, Bakara. They tell him his father died and he taught Kriya Varagaf named to Benoy. And then it found out that it was his son. Lo Yoti de Kriya, he was not Yoti Kriya. Amrulai mace loy mace, right? But if they told him that something, somebody died, who could suffer of it, when he thought it was his father, Bakara, and he taught Kriya Varagaf named to Benoy, then Yoti de Kriya. Then he is Yaitza Kriya. So you see a Bryson that says Beferish, that it's different over whether he taught Kriya, or whether he taught Kriya Bidafka for, for what a relative or not. Fine. Ravashi is a different terrorist. Ravashi Yomar Khan Basoy Kedei Dibur, Khan Laachar Kedei Dibur. A fascinating, this is the source for Kedei Dibur, right? But let's see. Khan Basoy Kedei Dibur, one, well, it's one of the sources. Khan Laachar Kedei Dibur. One is talking about that. Which we say, what's the Taish Kedei Dibur? I mean, the amount of time it says to say Shalom Aleich, Shalom, Shalom Alecha Rebbe. Right? So, in that time, if he finds out within that time that it was the wrong person, then it works. Kan La'ach Kedei Dibur. But the Mishnah that says it, it didn't, meaning by the Kriya, he found out within, within uh, let's say, two seconds of tearing Kriya, he found out that it was a different relative, so then it, it, it retroactively works. That's a loaded way, a loaded sentence of way to well, where is Where does the Tarkhide Diva, where is it? Where is the, why is it, why could you erase it? Where's the Makari that you could erase Tarkhide Diva? Oh, so we're going to see that in the round in a minute. We're going to see that in the round. It's a Machlaikis Rishayim, where that comes from. But let's see. So Rav, let's just get the terrors. Was Rashi Yomar Kan Besoy Kedei Dibur? Kan Lach Kedei Dibur. What is talking about within Kedei Dibur? Right. So what's within Kedei Dibur? So then it doesn't make a difference if he got if he got the uh, he got it wrong. And Kan Lach Kedei Dibur. What is talking about after Kedei Dibur? So then 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 he has to redo the nether. Hadak Amra Hami Yatsi Kedei Kriya. This Shenim to Benoi Besoy Kedei Dibur. This that he said we yaitz kriya. That's when he finds a son that it's kedai. He found out toy kedai dibur of tearing the kriya that it was really a son, not the father. Hadamer lo yaitz kedai kriya laachar kedai dibur is talking about laachar kedai dibur, right? So uh, fine. That there's a debate whether that last line should be there <coughs> because it doesn't have any. I mean, it's it's it doesn't have anything what to do with this. But okay, I mean, it has to do with it, but not not necessarily. Either way, so we're saying that. Anything that happens within that amount of time, then it's as if you didn't really fully say it yet. Right? And but the Khidish is here that the Gemara is saying normally dibur is on a dibur. Right? The Khidish of this Gemara is what does it normally happen? If a guy say you make a bracha, I'm gonna buy a priya government by mistake, and you realize you're drinking beer, right? For for Abdullah. This it happens, right? Oh, it's beer. Right? So within two seconds, it works. Right? But, but on a Misa, who says it works on a guy tore Kriya? Right? And he says, oh, I'm tearing Kriya. The guy says, I'm tearing Kriya on the father. Fine. And then he tells, by the way, it wasn't the father. It was the, uh, oh, it was the son. Oh, oh, on the son. Right? So that the type of the even goes on the, on a Misa. Right? Now, where does it come no, no. from that, yeah? Why don't you say it's not a Kriya because it's the wrong side, so it's not a Kriya. Allah it's not as just tearing your jacket. 
I hear that. I, I don't know what the source of the minig is to tear on the different sides. I'm assuming it's not ma'akit. Okay, fine. Right. I, I think it's ma'akit the other way, but not this way. This way, the av was first, and then the and then the ben. So it's the left side over the right side. The left side, you yoyt to the right side also. Sorry, the right side, you yoyt to the left side also. But if it's the other way around, you may have to. If it was benoy then av, I think the the, the there might be a mechlekes mechaber and other vice Yeah, I don't remember. I think the mechaber says you're not yoyt Yeah, could be. I think, but this way also with the av. There's more than one layer of begadim that are, are nikra. With the ben, it's only one baggage. So it's it's always more calmer. The more calmer is yet to the last one. I hear. Interesting. I don't I don't remember what we said. Um, yeah, it's, it's it's why is it more calmer? It's just sides. He, it's no, because it, it, it's I don't know why it's more well because there's more kriya done on on a on a av than anything else. Av is the whole, is, is the jacket, the shirt. Yeah, I hear. Okay, so he brings it. The Machaber brings it. In, in, I don't know. Yeah. He brings it. If he, someone made a mistake and he did the wrong side, he brings both ways, I think. Yeah. Okay. Fine. But here's the thing What's, where is it coming from, this Turkey Day Diva? What's the shot in it? So, so uh, the Ran says, that it's just because a person is not goimer his das on anything that's not so important. He's not doesn't have gemiras das when he mumbles it. He always has in his head, I have a few more seconds to decide. Meaning he's not doing it with with any sort of uh, fina finality. What's the word? Fina whatever. <laughs> in any sort of but say so he says something chashuv, which we'll see at the end of the Gemara. Like if a guy does have a desara. Or he makes fun of Rabbanu Shalayla, or he's Makadish a woman, or he divorces a woman. Those are all chashuv things. Those are instant. You don't have to take the on those four things, right? Because they're so chashuv that a person, when he does it, doesn't just shoot his mouth off, basically. So right? if I say I owe you a hundred thousand dollars, I didn't mean it. Yeah, that's what we're saying. Yeah, I don't. I, you want to say that that's considered chashuv? I don't know. I don't know if it's considered chashuv, but I. I don't... What's what's determining it? Minat I don't know. That's what. I, that's my shayla. Yeah. That's so what's shayla. What's that's shayla. Shayla. A, after all the money Dache raised, a hundred thousand dollars is not considered chosher. Don't worry. I, <laughs> there you go. All right. It's a um, hundred thousand bottles of beer or wine. Right. I'll say okay, what, okay. what's considered chosher. Yeah, so I don't know. He says the way the Ron says it, he doesn't know the difference. But he says that something that's very choshev uh, is gomer bedaito, right? But that's not okay. That's one shot. The Ramban, the the Ram brings a shot from the Ramban that's wild, right? If you, it's it's six lines, seven lines up in the Gemara from the bottom in the Ram. He brings from the Ramban that b'shem Rabbeinu Tam. It's a takonas chachomim that toichu de dibur works. Why? Because first of all, the, the number one application of Toyota Day Deeper is in Chesha Mishra, when a guy says, I'm going to buy it from you, and within three seconds, he says, I'm not buying it, or I'm going to sell it to you, and then within three seconds, I'm not going to sell it to you. Why? So he says, what could happen is a Talmud who's buying something, and his Rebbe walks by, and he has to give Shalom to his Rebbe. Right? And then, because he gave Shalom to his Rebbe, he he uh, he said something and then he lost trash. Shalom Aleichem Rebbe, oh. right? And now the deal is over. So they basically said that you have up until that time of saying Shalom Aleichem Rebbe to change your mind, right? All because you might be buying something and your Rebbe might be walking by. And of course, you stop your transaction to say hello to your Rebbe. So because of that, the Daire Dairis, Taika De Divo, you could just change your mind, right? It's um, also mashma from the Ramban that Toch De Dibur is a little bit a, a drop more than those words. Because if it's coming from there, you would need to say Shalom Alecha Rabbi Omairi and then go back and continue. It's not within that time. Okay, whatever it is, but that's but that's yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just it's it's it comes out a big cool according to the Ramban. An extra couple seconds, whatever it is. Um 
Yeah, but I'm saying that. But the point is that, that that's the chiddush that he's saying, which the Ran then says, I don't understand it because that means Bezdin is making a, a toike de dibur to be oiker and iser from the Torah, right? Because we're saying now, toike de dibur, you can you can be made for your wife's nether. Really, that's an iser deraisa. The rabbanon are coming along and saying that oh, you get three seconds, the three second rule, whatever, five second rule. Falls on the floor, whatever, you pick it up. So you have three seconds to be mapped to the nether. What do you mean? So, okay, it's one thing in a business transaction, fine, but by nether, are you going to say that? That he mapped the wrong person's nether or the wrong nether, and then the three seconds? If you're wrong, if the Rabbanon are wrong on that three second rule, the kid, the guy's being over and it's a Daraisa, right? She says, Oh, yeah, my husband was mapped it, but they say, Oh, it was a three second. Yeah, but the Rabbanon, it works. But so the Rabbanon are, aiking, are being Iker and it's a Daraisa. Right? Okay, whatever it is. Well, Tanya, we learned in the price. So back in the Gemara, Misha has a chayla in his Somebody has a chayla in his house, been a salad, and uh, and uh, he faints. Ukmeduma shemes, and then they thought he died. The kara they tore kriya. Ba'achakach mes, and then the, then the person died. So now the kriya was going on the right person. It's just that the person didn't die yet. Sort of like they wrote the. Obituary before the guy was died. So they have a din obituary. Right? He wrote it already when the guy is still alive. So lo yati de kriya, you're not yati kriya. Amar of Shimon ben Pazi, Amar of Yeshua ben Levi, Moshe makabra lo shano elas shemes laachik kedei dibur. But that's only if the person died achik kedei dibur. That's when you have to tear again. Amar besayik kedei dibur, kedibur dami. That's like dibur. So here's here's really the opposite. Here you tore the kriya. Now the person has to die within tayik kedei dibur, right? So that's that's a bigger chiddush because that's not going on your deeper. You may gotta make sure the person dies within the tearing of the kriya. Okay, the hilchasa and alach is toike dei deeper kedibur dami. It is kedibur. Chutz mi megadev, except for somebody who says something against Hashem for ever avoid this kachavim and does avoid the zaro mekadesh, and somebody by a kedushin he says I'm mekadesh you, and then he says no 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 I don't want. That doesn't work. Um megadesh and he divorces his wife. He says no 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 I really want to keep you, right? Um, Wait, so well, the again, the Ran, said the, pshat, the Ran said the Pshad is that these things are very hush of some Mamela. Nobody has in mind to 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 backtrack on that. What are you saying? What's the case of Megarish? He gives her a get and then he rips it away from her. That's a mice, so. right? So tell them to get me whenever it's called. Uh, yes, the three year old Diburin. This is a mice. I don't know. No, that isn't. No, then he says, I don't want that. By the way, that gets not yours. Not not yours. I'm taking, I'm taking it back. Whatever's written in that get, I think. Either way, okay, let's go back to him. So I'm kind of teinim vanovim elu. If a guy says, if she says, I'm sorry, kind I'm making a nether. Teinim vanovim elu shani teimus, and I'm going to taste. Meaning, I'm making a nether. I'm not going to taste these grapes and uh, and figs. Kaim, kaim. The te'enim. Let's say the husband was makayim the date, the figs part. Then kula kaim. Then the whole thing is makayim. Meaning, and then she has to keep the nether, even though she made it for two types of fruits, and he only said he agrees. Oh yeah, taki you shouldn't eat te'enim. He didn't say anything about grapes. It's still the nether goes on the grapes. Hafra le te'enim. But if he he does hafara te te'enim, he takes back the te'enim. Ain ne mufar atriyafar afla anavim. Then. It's not mufar until he's also made for the grapes, right? Meaning, which which there's a, there's really a machloikis of exactly what that means. Meaning, if he she again she made another she's not eating grapes or figs, and then the husband was made for the figs, so we're saying that the nether is not considered nullified until he also nullifies the grapes. Now that can mean that the the dates the figs is also not nullified that's one way of learning it or the figs is nullified but the grapes is not meaning again we said when he's being makayim the nether if he's makayim one then the other one automatically the other other one is also makuyim by huffer we're certainly saying not like that right but the question is does it mean that the whole nether is not mover or the one for figs is because that's a machalik of shayna amra koinen te'eno shayni chani te'enes ba'anova shani te'emes meaning here she she separates them in the first case, she said she's making a nether against grapes and figs. Here she says, "I'm kainem kainem teina shan shanita emes va'anova shanita emes." So she 
separated them with Anita Emma. So those are two different phrases. Then Are Then the two t- totally independent in the Dharam. And therefore, each one is if he's Makayim one, he's not Makayim the other. If he's made for one, he's definitely not made for the other. Right? So money must listen. Rabbi Shmal, our Mishnah goes like Bishmal, the Tani Isha Yikimeno. Again, Isha here means her husband. Her husband's Makayim or Nadavi Isha Yifirena when her husband negates it or nullifies it. Amra kainim te'enim anavim elu shani te'emas. I'm making a nether. Kain l'te'enim. Um, if he's the husband's makayim for the figs, kuloi kayim. They're all kayim. Hantam it beis now. Hafer l'te'enim. But if he's made for the te'enim, enim mufer atchiyafer af l'anavim. The nether is not mufer until he also is made for the anavim. Divi Rabbi Shmuel. That's Rabbi Shmuel. And we said again that's a machlokes. Where does that mean that the the figs part is is mufer or not? Fine. Rabbi Kiva Aimer. The Kiva disagrees. He says it says Isha Yikimenu Vishivarenu. Ma Yikimenu Mimenu, just like Yikimenu means that it's that if he's Makayim one, he's Makayim everything. Af Yifirenu Mimenu, so so too Yifirenu is also that if he's made for one, he's made for the whole thing. So that's sheet the number two. That's not on Mishnah. Rabbi Shmuel. So that's those are the two. Those are the two sheets. Rabbi Shmuel and Rabbi Kiva. By Rabbi Shmuel, Miksiv Yafer Mimenu. What does Rabbi Shmuel do? Rabbi Kiva's tying. It doesn't say Yafer Mimenu, right? It like he's being made for something that's part of it, right? So, um, so therefore he doesn't go like that. Rabbi Kiva, Makish Afar Alakam. Rabbi Kiva, he has a has a comparison between nullifying and keeping. Ma Kama Mimenu, just like Akama. He doesn't have to be making the whole thing. He he can be making Mimenu. He can. Back up some of it. Hafafara mimenu. So to hafara is also mimenu. Fine. So Amrav Chiyav Rav Amrav Yechonan. Doesn't Rabbi Shmuel? Let me just finish because it's late. Let me don't say. Amrav Chiyav Rav Amrav Rav Yechonan. Zu divir Rabbi Shmuel. Rabbi Kiva. That's what Rabbi Shmuel and Rabbi Kiva hold. Amar Chachamim Ma'imrim. Chachamim say Makish Hakama Lafara. You do compare Hakama Lafara. Now he goes the other way. Ma Lafara, Ma Shahafar Hafar. Just like by Hafara. Whatever he's made for, meaning she made a nether against grapes and de- and figs, and we're saying by hafara, what what he did, what he was made for, he's made for, um, um, mm-hmm. only what he's makayim is he makayim, and that's it. He's not makayim anything else. So he's the most strict. He's saying that even by kiyum, by kiyum, we were saying according to everybody, if you makayim one, you get everything. And he's saying, no, you're not. No, if you're Makayim, just the dates, then she does not have to necessarily keep the, the figs. Fine. And the last case was she separated them. She separated the dates and the figs. Amra, koinim te'ena, sheini te'emes, and then, then, anovim sheini te'emes. Amra, rovim, mastisim, rav shimini, our mission is like rav shimini, amar, at shiyem, rishvua, l'chol, echad, echad. When somebody's, so if you make a false shvua, so obviously you're chayim. So let's say a guy makes, a guy says, I'm making a shvua, that it's hot outside, and that uh, that there's grapes outside, and that there's uh, there's gonna be a snowstorm tonight. And he says a bunch of baloney, and he swears. So is he chayev for five different shvuas, or he's chayev for only one? So as long as he didn't say shvua, 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 shvua for each thing that he said, he only gets one shvua. But if he said shvua, shvua, like I'm making a shvua that it's hot outside, and I'm making a shvua that somebody dropped off grapes outside, and I'm making a shvua that it's gonna snow tonight. Then, since he said the shvua each and every time, so each one gets separate. So that's what our mission is saying. If she makes a nether and she says nether for each one, or a form of nether for each one, then each one gets its own thing. All right. Have yourself a fine Shabbos. They'll probably owe drift. Shabbos, everybody. They'll owe, yes. They'll owe drift. If you all those things, you probably owe a lot of money. Yes, 100%. 100%. <laughs> okay, Akiva, I mean, Akiva Gershon, what do you want to say? Enjoy your Shabbos. I apologize. Liz is still on. I'm sorry. I keep forgetting that Shabbos comes in. Yes, Shabbos is much later in Cleveland. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. Don't worry. Everybody's happy about it on much of Shabbos. And you don't roll on for, uh... <laughs> <laughs> um... The Machlech is Rabbi Shmuel and Rikiva here. Rabbi Shmuel answers Rabbi Kiva. Meeks of Yafir Mimenu. Yafir Mimenu. So there's no mimenu by yafir. So mamela, you can split the difference between akama and afara. Why isn't that asking akasha on himself? It doesn't say isha yikimenu mimenu. Where do, where is this din coming from that akama works halfway? 
Is that the stam that didn't make Sasek Kulay? I don't know what the lumbus is, but why the Akama should work? Why, well, yeah. Know. I mean, that seems harsh to both Rabbi Shmuel and Rabbi Kiva. The whole kasha is, what about Hafara? I mean, Rabbi Shmuel's answer to Rabbi Kiva doesn't really work. Miksiv yafer mimenu? Miksiv yafer mimenu. I mean, what? There's no difference. Which yeah. is the time of Rabbi Kiva. So, uh, yeah, okay. I don't know. Fine. All right. What's with his spade? I have no idea. I don't know. They were giving a spade over there. I was there. I, I went because I figured it's not going to be more than 20 minutes. It's just a Leviah. This is also to give a spade. I, I, I actually texted this Rabbi Kahan who gave a Hesper. Um, yeah. I didn't want to ask him. <laughs> it would be a typical question for him to ask me. Like, right. why are you making a spade? I have no idea. I have no idea. Well, I, I mean, I'm happy they did, Lamaisa. I didn't know the man, but, but 